In this video, I am going to review uh, the work of one of my students, uh, which is the name is Kasia Barses. I, I am not able to pronounce it, but here is one of my students. She is doing a lot of my courses on Skillshare right now, and I think she has almost finished three or four, maybe more of my courses. And this is her work. So. She wanted me to, you know, review this work and tell me what are the problems I see from my perspective. Now, uh, I'm going to review some of the likes and some of the dislikes or uh, improvements she can do inside this design. Now, from a beginner point of view, I think this is a brilliant design, very unique layout, uh, great use of colors you can see over here. Uh, the colors she has used mostly this background is mine but this whole design has a lot of colors picked from this picture overall the imagery and uh, the icons uh, the styles from uh, coming out of these leaves from different buttons this whole layout this is really really nice very creative work uh, and uh, you can see this is the whole design okay so uh, colors are great layout is superb the only thing which I think uh, where the improvements could be uh, first I'm going to start with this logo this logo is really uh, you can say um, weak from my point of view this is really weak uh, a lot of letters that have different um, proportions and that have different spaces between them this is really not a good idea so it must be uh, based on some shape like solid shape like this or maybe uh, something uh, like uh, like this or maybe I mean it has to follow some basic shape okay so these gaps these are a little bit irritating uh, on this side this looks great this um, this uh, icon over here if you want to improve it further you can have a circle like this and let's try to have it something like this okay so have some opacity uh, and just to highlight a little bit that this is where your card is okay so um, this would be my improvement anyhow so moving on this is really great. This section is really great. Maybe I want to have more space between these two sections. Uh, this thin line is a bit confusing for me and also it has some shadow around it. Then this new, this is great. Uh, okay, so this, uh, this is really creative, but uh, on a web design or a website, you cannot do things like that. You have to use uh, a typeface that has a proper heading so uh, I, I would not recommend that you try to omit the n or you have used this e that is a bit higher up I'm not sure is this built into this typeface or you have used it or tried it yourself okay now uh, the second mistake is the line of uh, focus or you can say the flow line now whenever someone whenever you are designing make sure that you try to follow a line so this is uh, you can say this is the text and you can see over here the problem so this new is a bit over here this treatment is on the left and this is also not aligned uh, to this this text is not fully aligned to this this whole uh, movement so whenever you have you uh, mostly the users their eyes they are going to follow a specific line we, we are uh, you can say we have been programmed by nature that we follow patterns and lines so make sure you have aligned them onto a single axis or single straight line uh, on the left or on the right whatever you we want to do so this is another mistake then uh, I, I didn't like the, the idea of um, you know using too much um, you can say 
letter spacing over here on in the last line it says 100% pure plant extract this is I, I don't recommend this if you want to do something like that maybe you want to use a second typeface or maybe something else or maybe some color or just highlight the 100% uh, leave everything else this button is really great uh, these leaves are really great I don't like this over here now why why this is a problem because your whole theme is about plant extracts and purity and things like that now uh, this is a very sharp arrow I would not recommend it you have very nice rounded button over here and then uh, the, the, that is totally opposite this is very sharp just like a knife so this is totally out of this theme uh, I would show you what the improvements I am I have made in these let me just add this one to my improvements group over here and hide it now moving on to the next section over here again this is the same thing this is really nice uh, but this arrow this really sharp thing this is the this is really irritating for me this is great I like it this is really nice really nice uh, maybe we can move this a bit up uh, or maybe in the center uh, over here is fine but make sure that it is following some line either you have to follow this line over here like this or you can follow the mid a starting point or you can have something aligned to this over here so similarly like you can see over here if you are trying you can see these these are actually the lines formed by the top elements over here you are not following any of them so try to follow at least uh, align this button to this moist cream at least and also don't try to be very creative try to bring this 50 ml in this line over here uh, in just front of this 45 pounds so these this is my suggestions you are not following the lines this is a very basic graphic design rule or design rule that your eyes are going to follow a same line or pattern whenever something is out of that line it is going to irritate your eyes it is going to be uh, it is not going to you know have a good impression on your mind so this is one thing I would like to add over here then we have this next section over here this is good I, I, I really like this one there's no problem I like the top and um, this uh, this is a bit higher in the hierarchy over here this image is high and this is low this is really good okay so uh, moving on to the next again this this is I like it this is a nice touch over here movement I like it only thing is over here the arrow this arrow thingy I don't like it this is very sharp okay so here you can also try to improve this section uh, this image is a bit stretched not a circle over here pure circle uh, I, I really love the images that are you know blending in the background white background really nice really nice also I really really love these so this is really nice this is really nice touch you are having some extracting some backgrounds over here uh, similarly I see the same over here and over here this is really nice very creative work the only thing is I think the typography try to use uh, uh, a same pattern and uh, don't try to expand text over here without any reason uh, try to use alignments properly and uh, don't try to get into a theme that is totally different if you are using circles circles round things you can see everything is rounded uh, over here these borders these are rounded these are circles these are rounded uh, okay so again these buttons these are rounded this button this is rounded and then suddenly we have a very sharp knife like object this is this is really irritating so maybe uh, a circle and a rectangle is good enough for your design don't try to use any other shape like this is a triangle this is way too sharp for me 
so uh, these are right now the things I see over here also you can see um, I really don't uh, find this very nice let me zoom in uh, this is very irritating for me so you are trying to use letter spacing that is going to be very spacious and it shows that this is a modern theme and it shows um, um, like you can say that this is a very unique product or modern product but again in this over here in this section it uh, you have tried to change the rule and just mix these two up this is not a good practice unless you have to highlight it you can use some uh, maybe something like um, uh, like a background over here maybe something like this uh, oops let me show you so maybe you can use some blending mode or something 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 like this okay so we are back to this problem my actually my uh, adobe xd restarted due to some reason it just crashed anyhow so maybe you can use color to change uh, if you want to change you can use by color uh, or using just the typeface don't try to change the style so if you are going into an open uh, or airy or modern kind of design try to follow that don't try to mix it with any other thing like you can see over here uh, this is all rounded and soft corners and then uh, suddenly we have this very sharp object this is a totally opposite direction so I, I I would try I would say that you should uh, try to avoid these okay so this is my review about the work of Cassia Bars because uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'm able to pronounce her name accurately she's a very good student and I think she is going uh, with a lot of pace uh, on my courses I hope that this video will help Cassia and all the other students uh, who are trying to you know improve their designs uh, do, do try to share this video and like and subscribe if you have any questions and you want to know about me and uh, where I teach you can always comment in uh, leave your comment in the section below uh, Thank you Cassia for letting me uh, you know review your work it was really nice really brilliant work uh, there were still improvements which I have already um, showed uh, all the other students along with you I hope that this will help you improve your designs and uh, we will keep in touch till then take care and bye